have to agree with you that maybe we see the gunner come out trying to face or trying to keep the distance at all times. However, we see a fair fight, a battle of the blades. Interesting. Yeah, Battle of the Blades indeed here, and Elijah Lim is definitely going to be slowly taking a little bit of the charge from Mr. E in this case, and what a read from the get up there on Mr. E, and altogether just reading out that role. I like to talk about Mr. E is just one of those characters who just has that strong mental game always with him. He doesn't get frustrated. He looks to catch his opponent's habits and also accept how he can get around them as well. You, you can tell that he's coming with a game plan, but on the fly, on the moment, he's adapting, he's downloading. You can see it here. He's trying to put the aggression out, and he's recognizing how Elijah Min recovers, and it wouldn't surprise me if we see a lot of two frames, a lot of catches with insane precision that only Mr. E can, uh, can create with the Ooh. insane strength. And look at just like that, forcing a roll situation where he punishes insanely well and catching with an up smash with only 48 percent mystery taking a beautiful first stock in this set i'm not kidding the minute you said precision mr e struck with quote-unquote <laughs> yeah. precision he was like you know what sir I, I hear you i i know what you want fam i know what you're looking for i, I got it i got it Definitely, and he's recognizing how his opponent moves, especially under pressure conditions, which is where it matters the most. How do you react to these kind of interactions that either suffocate you or you find the window of opportunity? Let's see if Elijah Min can get something, gets the counter, but doesn't head, doesn't get the second hit. Very great. Uh, that's a great idea from Elijah Min. I haven't seen that counter try to do uh, massive damage, but it would have been destructive if that had connected. That's the thing about Shulk that I argue to a lot of players, and maybe something I don't understand as a Shulk main, but I see from the outside. Shulk is one of those characters that, funny enough, given all his tools, he has the worst counter in the game, in my opinion. But right. even then, that's not the worst thing in the world to have, given everything else he has with it. Yeah, he can use it uh, as a defensive option, too. Uh, you can see it from, uh, like, Greninja, for example. His counter is not that great, but uh, it still works to some degree. So it, this all boils down to how the competitor takes advantage of all of these tools. Mystery positioning himself pretty well. That shield pressure is going to be very dangerous, but instead catches with a forward smash. Very well done. Stocks are looking pretty even. Stocks are looking pretty even indeed here, but the stage control, not even indeed. Mr. E slowly slipping through Elijah Min to get that center stage and then punishing that up B as soon as possible here. Uh, Elijah Min has the lead in terms of percent here, but you know Mr. E is never that far behind. Finally looking for a swing here, but Elijah Min, that's kind of like one of the things we talked about as Shulk. He is able to outrange his opponents in ranges they would normally like to operate. In this case for Lucina, it is going to be Shulk having the better range. Yeah, and not only that, the, the, the determination to go in at all times to take the right choice when it comes to picking the right monado for the perfect situation. It's very reaction-based. He tried to go for the jab lock, but instead barely missing, gets the shield break, and Lucina goes for it again to get the stock. Beautiful stab wound from Mr. He gets game number one, even though things were getting slightly closer by the end. I would love to see a little bit more of that Shulk Lucina because that was intense, Bans. You're not, you're not wrong. The intensity was up there for both of those players, and it is crazy to see how that played out for Mr. E. He made sure that stab wound was going right through Shulk's chest, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> And for critical damage, too, it's very impor important to understand that Lucina will benefit from any single kind of interaction. And I was actually trying to figure out whether he was going for the shield break earlier or not because he was trying to put pressure uh, something that i've noticed is that mr e when he tries to drown you out to suffocate you he goes for a string he goes for like long combos but when he's trying to wear your shield down he's patient he's waiting for you to make the wrong decision and then goes in with a shield breaker i love the way mr e plays it's ridiculous yeah that's that's literally what i tell people like i i Call me a fanboy, call me biased. I hate to say it to you guys and everybody in the VOD and in the chat. Yeah, I am a little biased for Mr. E, but just watching him play, man, it is just incredible. It, it's, it is like watching, it, to me as a Smash player and as a Smash fan, as a commentator, it's almost like watching art. 
It, it, it's incredible his level of precision, his mentality, his game, his movement, all these things in, in a player just coming together into such a strong character. And it feels, yeah, Mr. E plays the way Lucina should be played, and it works out so well and so strong. Here's the thing, though. Elijah Min definitely felt that uh, that aggression, that motivation that Mr. E brought in the first game, and now he's taking it for himself. He takes the first stock flawlessly, putting all the aggression in the perfect place at the perfect time, and he keeps going for it. Every single time Elijah Min goes in, he feels that same drive, the same anger that motivated him into bringing this game back. This set, it's still doable, and he is making insane attitude adaptations taking stocks left and right and when the smash monado art out he might be able to take the second stock insanely fast oh you yeah. <laughs> i'm so sorry like that, don't like that. <laughs> i'm telling you guys i'm telling you this is very much a case of elijah min strikes back like that ability to just wait out for that forward smash and then knowing the second hit is just in coming out to the impact it's so strong for Elijah Min here, but Elijah Min will make the recovery here with the Buster Art coming back on the stage. And you know that with that Buster Art, the extra percent will come out to so much damage over time, especially when you're just trying to carry your opponent off the stage altogether. This is the moment where you basically realize that a competitor is tapping in into the skills, the uh, the meta, the all of the abilities that the, the character they play as basically has. So it's Elijah Min tapping into the foresight that Shulk has, this premonition, the, the ability to look into the future and notice, okay, my opponent is going to be here. I'm going to destroy him with my next move. And just like that, Elijah Min looking really good in this potential last stock mystery struggling a little to get in but he's slowly picking it up and the heat keeps rising however Mr. E struggling a little and Elijah Ming positioning himself really really well in this second game yeah and a lot of that is for Elijah Ming to also understand the positioning not only for himself but his opponent we talked about it time and time again man that center stage is so important man but this neutral there and the reason why you see elijah man just go for it's just that wide swing it's so good for catching jump normal get up roll yeah. you name it like it covers literally three out of the five options and even then if he can just stop that jump he can go ahead and read any other option and that's why we see elijah man just use that neutral air. it's not just spam it's spam with a purpose Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say it is spam, but yes, it is working flawlessly. And even though he's using it a lot, it's definitely well thought out. It's just not spamming for no reason. Every mm -hmm. single motion, it's to mix up, uh, try to catch what his opponent is going to do, covering every single option. As you mentioned, Bans, very spot on. And Elijah Min again with the percentage lead, one stock ahead with the Smash Monado Art. He is one touch away from taking this game number two and he does with a beautiful grab and a beautiful forward air elijah min taking game number two with dominant status that was really really well executed yeah really well executed indeed here and it's gonna come up to mr e to kind of remember those notes that he's had because a little fun fact here for some of you guys mr e and nico actually used to be kind of some some pretty cool training partners they would either play together back in smash 4 you know marth dittos and shulk or shulk versus lucina or shulk versus marth and even in Smash Ultimate, right, they were both picked up by Demise and uh, for such a time. And Mr. E and Nico did train for a time. So it's going to be on Mr. E to kind of tap into that knowledge that he has had when he used to play, you know, those friendlies on Wi-Fi versus Nico. And he's had some experience. I'll definitely say that for sure. But what's, we'll see here what's going to come on to the next game here is Elijah Min and Mr. E are now 1-1 one, one apiece. Listen, Lucina, for those of you who haven't played the game, she comes from the future, so she knows exactly what's... Wait, did I spoil it? Nah, it's nah. an old game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's an old game. game. <laughs> so yeah, she comes from the future, she'll, so she knows. She might be able to, again, as you mentioned, and as I said earlier, tap into their skills, into their natural um, abilities that they have. But again, this all boils down to the competitor's ability to adapt, to improvise, to make adaptations necessary to take stocks and Mr. E looking really good right now with this insane pressure that he's putting out. Yeah, and that insane pressure is definitely going to be the role reversal kit. It's going to be up to Elijah Min to keep up that same pressure Mr. E had on him 
This tree is slowly slipping through mana as you know what he's looking for. That center stage, that opportunity to come back. But I love that falling up air from Mr. E because he always nails it on time. And you know when he gets that falling up air, he will look to execute on either another one or his opponent's panic into, oh no, I'm going to get juggled. I either have to go to the ledge or air dodge. And from there, Mr. E will look to take control just like so reading up that opportunity going for that forward smash. Bands, we are watching a lot of parries. There, it's insane how much they are understanding how his opponent moves. But that gimp is that gonna be it? It is going all the way down. A weird SD from Mr. E, but not like it matters because he's one stuck away from taking this game number three. Beautiful gimp from Lucine, the Lucina main here, trying his best to put a blockade in uh, Elijah Min's way to recovery. Very well done, and now he's just one, a couple strings away from taking game number three. Yeah, and game number three pretty much puts you at a really good set point. You know, counter picks and, counter and things aside here, but just being at set point literally makes your opponent start to sweat a little bit. Like, all right, hold on, I have one more game to do it, or I'm out. And especially when you're coming into loser side. But Elijah, man, you know that forward smash is going to be the thing to catch up in percent. Unfortunately, being in bus chart, you will lose that knockback. Yeah, it's it's it is unfortunate, but however, he's very close to the kill person, so maybe relying on that smash monado art was the good was a good uh, good idea. However, unable to concrete the kill, and with that backer, he's trying a little bit more to get extra pressure. I love the extension that the monado sword allows him almost to two frame just like that. It's ridiculous. Now with 106 percent. He's going to need to avoid every single interaction that he finds himself caught in by Mr. E. And with these situations where he finds himself against the ropes, it might become even harder to survive for a little longer. Yeah. Speaking of surviving a little longer here, there is going to be the shield heart allowing him to survive just a little bit longer. 149, you know, one forward air, one sword swing. That'll be it for Elijah Man, and it's gonna be up to him to see if he can get back on the stage here. Mr. E slowly timing that with that delayed aerial into the cross. Sorry, I'm sorry, dancing blade. Yeah, it's good pressure from uh, Mr. E trying to keep him on his toes, and he does. Right now, he's forced to use the shield Monado because he is very close to losing that stock. He just needs a good confirm, and so he gets it with that sliding uh, forward tilt. Insane for Mr. E. We've seen those all across this tournament, and they are working flawlessly. So much reach, so much kill potential. Mr. E doing it once again. Only once. One game away from getting this set and proceeding forward onto the loser's side. I, uh, would that be? Yeah, he is very close to going to loser's finals. Yeah, mm, for Mr. E to play, I think Mr. E did beat. I can't remember. Oh, man. It's crazy because, you know, every MSM is so different to the point that I forget every right. MSM because, you know, oh, there's yeah, of course. so much going it's on impossible. every MSM. Yeah, it, literally. But uh, I know Mr. E definitely has played against Ven before. I can't remember if he beat Ven or not, but you know for sure Mr. E does won that run back against Alan Dis. Uh, for Elijah Man, though, he definitely has one more chance on the board. This is a possible game five. We will, we'll see here. Will Elijah Man be able to predict the, see the future? As Shulk does, yeah. or will the character from the future be able to see over know the outcome overall? We'll see how it goes down to it as Mr. E strikes out with the first few hits and continuing that little bit of a lead. It wouldn't surprise me if Elijah Man uh, brought us to game five. He really tapped in into his foresight when it came into game two, and it was insane. And I would love to see a little bit more of that. But it all comes down to Mr. E's willingness to allow him to come back to the stage. And this is something that it might become a pattern. Mr. E recognizing and understanding uh, Elijah Min's recovery patterns, and he's been stomping him. He's been gimping him left and right and it wouldn't surprise me if he does it again in the next stock yeah and as i mentioned it before mystery has had experience against arguably one of the best shulk mains in the world right next to komei nico and just they both used to just train with each other on wi-fi so mystery has some understanding and some knowledge of what it's like to play against shulk from our from one of the best shulks in na altogether and that deep up back air will definitely do the trick stopping elijah Min from all hope of recovery man mr e has turned the jets all the way on blast and he's taking such a commanding lead up against elijah Min. and that smash art i was gonna say he might have to escape that smash art as soon as possible being that far oh no no okay okay 
Oh, he managed to recover. He was very low, though, so I thought that was going to be it, and I'm sure you did as well. But no, Elijahman was ready, and he still has an opportunity to win. Uh, the names are inverted at the moment, but Elijahman, you have to remember that uh, he is the Shulk main, and he is one game away from losing. Mr. E has the lead at the moment right now. The names have changed, and everything is back to normal. Mr. E looking really comfortable with that full stock of a lead. Looking really, really good. And even though Elijah Min has the, the stage control here, it might still be quite possible for him to bring it back even with this high percentage. Yeah, high percentage indeed here. The Shulk is one of those characters that look at this just immediately. Buster R will just do the magic trick here. Able to just pretty much allow Shulk to not only just catch up in percent, but overall deal damage and start to slowly run you over. And for Mr. E, just knowing that Neutraler has two hits and you call it, you can call out opponents for jumps and landings if you're able to use that Neutraler properly. In which Mr. E's case, you know he never fails with that. Yeah, still recovering, even though the percentage was really high. Elijah Min still has a fighting chance, especially if he takes advantage of that smash, Monado Art, which is slowly readying up. If he gets the right read and the perfect percentage, he might be able to take the stock. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, this is smash art here. Mystery has to be very careful. The timing! And the timing was not in his favor. That downer just poking through the ledge. I I'll tell you right now, sir. I tell you this. I just knew. I just knew this was going to be game five with how these two are playing. Definitely. Both of them bringing insane adaptation, insane recognition of how his opponents move or take decisions out of pressure situations. Really well done. And listen, Vance, I cannot be any happier to be able to commentate these game fives. Both of them, uh, we've seen several of them in, in, this, in, in this block, at least in this commentary block, this top eight situation. And all of them have been flawless and insanely intense so far. Yeah, and for all of you guys wondering in the chat, like, hey, how do you Shulk's and the Nato Arts work? Um, they they change Shulk's base stats as a character. So, for an example, Shield Art makes him the heaviest character in the game. Speed makes him pretty much near or at the fastest character as the game. And Jump will not change. It will change his Jump Height into the Floaty. They change his character properties, but not the character stats. You know, so Buster R will give him more damage, but in tangent, he loses the knockback and vice versa with Smash. Just a little bit of an information for some of you guys wondering how that works. Yeah, and it's insanely hard to implement all of these changes in one single uh, playstyle, basically. It takes a lot of brain power, a lot of training from the competitor to be able to maximize every single attribute that he gets, as well as to avoid any deficiencies that he gets from all of these Monado arts that allow him to change his playstyle so drastically on, the, on a moment's notice, basically. Yeah, and in my opinion, Shulk is one of those dynamic characters that's able to shift the paradigm that if you are the right player and you yeah. understand how the character works, the paradigm shift with Shulk is so strong that you're just able to change things up against your opponent. And we see how well that worked out for Elijah in last game, which brought us to game five. And now pretty much both players are literally, any man can take the stock here. And that backslash was almost a really good option to get Mr. E out of the way. And they're both being extremely cautious all around. Oh. We've been seeing them weaving back and forth. Elijah Min connecting that forward smash, but not being able to kill, trying to fish for that downer. Once again, we saw it work earlier, and he's for sure going to try to do it again. However, this miss, the shield Monado art is going to allow him to survive a little longer, but it, as soon as it goes, it's all a gamble. Who's going to take the stock first? All right, Elijah Man looking for an opportunity with that back here, and he's able to find it there in a little bit of that movement, 146. He has a little bit of the jump art will allow him to have that extra height, but that movement in the air to be able to escape something from Mr. E, but also know that he is a floaty, so he will be able to get hit out pretty well from the air as well. But Mr. E looking to take out this 155 as soon as possible, and he knows what he's got to fight for. It's at center stage because Elijah Man was looking to inch in, but it wasn't enough. Uh, good patience from both of them. However, Mr. E had the upper hand in the sense that he was not the one under pressure. He just needed to find the right window. And again, the Buster Monado maximizing percentage. Very smart and very well utilized from Elijah Ming. Maximizing all of the damage that he put out with only two interactions. That's something that you love to see on Shulk. Yeah, and for Elijah Ming... 
this moment in time he is looking for that neutral air in speed art and usually once you get that neutral air you can get into a forward air or once you get the forward you get the forward air carry because you have the speed to essentially meet up your opponent after aerial after aerial after aerial all the way it's one of those arts that just allow him to corner carry if your opponent is not ready for it and for mr e he understands he saw that smash heart takes his time to get back on the stage it's once again the battle for center stage here and mr e is looking and poised to just try to hold it as much as possible yeah, super even percentages, super even aggressive playstyles. Both of them trying their best, catching him with that forward once again. And he's trying to go for the spike, unable to get it. Oh no! That dancing blade trying to get the stock insanely early, unable to do so. However, he still tries to keep the aggression on. And again, against the corner of that stage, he's going to have to struggle a little bit more to gain the stage control. Yeah, good for Mr. E to go for a grab because just like yeah. like I said it so many times before, it is very similar to Joker Arts and, and vice versa. You just grab Shulk, you pummel, and you'll get rid of that shield on as soon as possible. There is going to yeah. be a forward throw from Mr. E, and you know he's looking for that landing opportunity, but Elijah Min gets that reversal, that smash art. Once you're getting caught at the ledge, don't forget the higher percent you are, the faster you lose that ledge of its ability. And for Elijah Min, he knows I just have to threaten out E with a forward air, and we know what happens from there insane aggression that Elijah Man keeps putting out and he's now one <laughs> stock away from winning again two interactions for 45 percent what a great trade-off and he's positioning himself such so comfortably in this potential last stock he just needs to concrete but he is looking really really good it's because I haven't seen like in SoCal like I would see Nico every every week to play Shulk right but I just forget, man, like two down tilts from bus from Buster Art is Jesus, man. That is ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> that is made in his favor. And now that he's at such high percentages, he's going to be very he needs to be very careful. Because even though he has a lead, a very clear lead, that can go in a second with the technicality that Mr. E brings to the table. However, again, that shield always on the perfect time, the perfect moment to use and extend his survivability. Oh. <laughs> the smash attack is going to take it. Elijah Min taking this set, sending Mr. E out of the tournament and instead becoming uh, the one that is going to be facing... Uh, where is he? Where is he? He's going to be facing Ven, Ven in Loser's final. Yeah.